everybody. I am here today to create my index card a day for day 55. We're into the last week of the ICAD project. Um, the first thing that I want to do is to put down some black tape Put it at the bottom, maybe put another piece on. And then I'm gonna put down, well, maybe not. I'm gonna use a pencil, just a regular pencil and make some marks, holding it kind of down at the bottom, uh, at the end of the pencil, so I don't have a lot of control. I'm going to use my Lyra stick, which I haven't used in a while, so I'm going to dip it in water and make some marks. One more time. Okay, so now I want to put down my tea bag. And I've got my Mac, my Mac Medium. taking the brush and putting it on the tea bag. Flipping it over and putting it down. I'm just gonna kind of smooth it out and make sure everything is Pretty well attached and you notice it's it's moving that Lyra the matte medium does moves it okay now I want to show you something um, I learned this from autumn moon autumn moon m-o-o-n you take a wooden ruler and you take like an X-Acto knife or something that has a sharp blade and you carefully take chunks out of it. So you end up with a, a ragged edge. And then when you wanna take, when you wanna tear a piece of paper, you do it by using the, um, the ruler. Now let me turn it You put the ruler down and you tear the paper and it gives you a rough edge, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, you, I, I ordered these from Amazon. I got a set of three of them and they've all got different chunks taken out of them. So, well, let me do that one more time. I'm gonna take it to tear that piece off. So I am going to, um, Use my um, glue stick. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with that the last couple of days. It is a glue stick, and it's working a lot better now that that big glop of glue is gone. So I'm going to put this down. Well, I don't think it'll fit that way, so I'm going to put it down this way. And I had, was doing some other projects and I had paint left over, so I just did fingerprints in the paint. I was using gray and, and, a, and a black. So that's where this came from. Um, doesn't seem like that little end right there is stuck down well. So I'm gonna put it down again. Okay, so now I've got my Dina Wakely washi tape and I'm looking for the end some of them just kind of melt in and they don't look it's difficult to find the end so I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to cover up I'm going to put it in the middle of these two black um, pieces and I'm going to tear off another piece and put it 
off, not lined up, but off center here. So that's that. Um, I think I will splatter some coffee and I'm gonna use this Tim Holtz splatter uh, brush. And I need to add some water to my coffee because it's dried up. This just kind of stays on my desk and when I want to use the coffee, I reconstitute it and, and it just, you just splatter it. You can do that, you could do this and you know, get small splats. A lot of different things you can do with it. Well, a few, not a lot, but a few. Okay, so I think that that's, aside from adding my little stitchy bit, I think, well, maybe not. I think I'm gonna put some paint down here some maybe that gray paint this is a lucas um light gray that's what's in there i'm gonna put it whoops i got way too much um and i'm gonna take this little I, like i said this is not a toilet paper roll because it's much sturdier than that but I'm gonna kind of paint, put some paint on it. And then put it down. I'll do another one. I'll do an odd number, whatever. This one, I think I'll go off the card. And then one more over on this side and just a little bit off. So I have tons more, so we'll see. You'll be seeing some more of that. And I'm gonna put this down on my under paper. So now the only thing I have to do is to put down my little stitchy bit. And I have some threads that I wanna add. And I'm gonna Use Fabri-Tac to put down this little stitchy bit. It's mostly, that the, the yarn is mostly green. That's why I chose the green washi tape. And I'm gonna put this down on the loose threads and that way it should hold them both down. These are threads that are part of the stitching that I did. I obviously had yellow and orange, I think, or maybe that's pink. In the card, I've kind of been stuck on the orange top stitch, haven't I? And it went blue on the, well, this has got green on the bottom, so it's different. So, let me put that down a little bit longer. So, today, you learned about the ruler. I want to say again, be very careful not to cut yourself and cut, always cut away from yourself. That's an old quilter's uh, thing. You always use a rotary cutter away from yourself, not towards yourself. And that's the same thing with this, uh, when you're using a, um, an X-Acto knife to, to, or some sort of blade to uh, cut those notches. So anyway, this is my card for day 55. We have six more cards to go. So I hope to see you tomorrow.